Hey guys, it's me, Sumbelas. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this video is extremely random, but also not. I'm just gonna do a small, little, bold... Well, I mean, small and little is the same thing. But also, you know, to just celebrate my birthday, which is today. I'm not gonna say too much on that. I mean, it's just another day. But anyway, so today I decided to just build a weird-looking house. And I don't know what I mean by that, but yeah. I just wanted to do something random. And I was also in the mood to build. So, I mean, this is where we are at so i wanted to try something new actually too and that is to build something i haven't really built yet you know in terms of doing something fancy with the roof lines and i don't know we'll just see how it goes you know and just go with how things go i suppose <laughs> now i wanted to have these little flappy things here you know i think i'm actually gonna go industrial with this build i was actually not sure which building style i would go with yet but now i think i'm gonna do industrial i freaking haven't done industrial bolts in quite a while and it's one of my favorite building styles so yeah industrial it is now this build is completely built without a reference so yeah i mean that is exciting in itself i suppose because i usually do build from you know looking at photos of other bolts and stuff okay we're not gonna go with that fins what am i doing now i shouldn't really talk too much while building that's where i usually do random stuff okay now over here i wanted to do something with the roof line bring it over and then bring that part all the way no not like that bring this part all the way to the front and bring these in oh and just because it is my birthday today i'm kind of gonna pressurize you guys on liking the video as well you know i mean i'm allowed to pressurize you now and then anyway now i think how you do that specific thing that i'm thinking about is you take this roof over here and you just bring the overhang out but you physically make the roof smaller you see now you don't have that intrusive white triangle in the way you see okay it kind of looks nice i suppose so now you have this gap over here which i like very much copy and paste this roof but we're just gonna fix the overhangs on this one maybe make it a metally kind the roof i don't know <laughs> and bring this over to there oh that looks sick i love the idea of that okay but i just want to maybe choose a different kind of metal okay okay i'm liking this all right it's the first time i've ever done something like this with a roof for the interior we can maybe do a loft because it's gonna be basically i don't know modern with a industrial touch to it and maybe gonna be a little bit brutalism as well or it's gonna have some some brutalism in other words a lot of concrete and boringness basically yeah it's gonna be a great combination now why why must this happen why tell me why unless i maybe close it up here now oh, that can still work okay you know what i'm rather gonna go with these roofs bring it over copy and paste okay now that looks a little bit better than the previous type of roof that we had now i don't want to go completely container with this house but i do love it so much this looks good good to me at least you know it doesn't need to look good to everybody else but to me it looks nice gonna grab a ladder put it over here for funsies okay actually you know i've never done a white container in my life how will the white look bad too white i don't know now all that's gonna bring this house together is you know adding some windows doors you know all those fancy things that brings a house together in general we're gonna have one massive door downstairs what do you think and if we're gonna do a loft we're gonna have to break open some part of this house we're gonna turn this part into the loft part all right break this open okay we got our staircase going and then we're gonna copy and paste this fence over here place it up here there we go easy little loft okay nothing says industrial like exposed brick you know i think i'm actually gonna use the exposed brick on mainly the whole house and for this part over here we can have container doesn't that look cool i think that, i think that looks all right a little bit empty but that's the whole thing of brutalism and minimalism you know it's kind of empty in general like my soul oh my gosh this is not nice this is gonna annoy me so much also by the way how how are we gonna get a bed up here if this is so small we're gonna have to extend it sadly and have a little loft thingy going on over there how does one fix that problem all right if you bring that part over it's gone but if you delete it it's back so what you gonna do maybe extend this and create a little bedroom 
room as it is maybe uh yeah i mean that's the only way we're gonna get rid of that line but i wish i could still maybe make the loft bigger over here without those lines returning and be a nuisance oh my gosh why no nope. but now we have a cool shape for our loft at least okay you know i'm just going way out with this build at the moment i don't even know why i'm adding these things over here and i added some plants at the back here as well so you know i don't think this house is really gonna be that industrial anymore i i actually don't know where i'm going with this build but i'm just gonna go with modern slash industrial slash naturistic too i don't know if that's a thing so here i want to add some of these planters as well i just want to add a lot of plants to this build for some reason because i just cannot handle a house that's too empty looking it has to have some sort of greenery you know i just love it that way the bedroom is well minimalistic at its best you know i don't know what else i'm gonna add okay i mean there's a lot of things i can add but that part can wait a little bit for now okay we're gonna have some dirt over here this house is also gonna be very eco-friendly it's gonna have a green footprint on it most probably when i'm finished with it you know adding all of the greenery and plants and stuff it's definitely gonna have a eco footprint or something all right the generators we're gonna have two over here looks like little trash cans uh, okay you know what let's hide the generators they look bad over there obviously we're gonna play around with uh, some solar panels as well i mean we have to have solar panels okay this this house is not industrial anymore well kind of it's more eco now economical we can have water catchers at the back here and also one of these water machine thingies like i don't i have no idea what this does i think it also like regulates and catches water or something like that i don't know wind turbines are definitely gonna be here as well i love the wind turbines they actually just look so good on roofs too i don't know why they just look good anywhere okay decided to call it the industry eco loft because i mean it's what i see when i look at this house an industrial economic loft yeah okay <laughs> mind does run wild when you're aging up i suppose you know does that happen to you too or is it just me i really would like to know are you just more creative when it is your cake day okay i don't think i'm gonna do the whole fence thing here because it really does take up time to do that as well yeah i am a little bit time constricted too can you believe that crap okay i know this is a wedding arch but i really like how it looks it looks very fancy and naturistic i think i'm gonna put it here somewhere by the entrance like how does that look is it too much yeah it's a little bit too much okay to have some brown wood do you have some brown wood okay i'm not gonna do too much to the backyard side of the house i think that is good enough over there we have two planters here and we have some lovely plants for the entrance i just want to get rid of all of these flowers because they look a little bit overgrown over here i know there's no such thing as too much plants and all that but sometimes there is a thing as too much plants so you have to be careful you know we gotta have some open dirt patches too i mean that looks good Alrighty, dude does this mean we can go to the interior yet good okay so let's quickly finish up the bedroom now all i'm gonna add here still is some some lights you know some lamps and stuff just want to bring this to the front a bit we can have these wiggly candles i really like them they're from the pastel pop kit very adorable we have a big picture up here and call it a day <laughs> and against this wall we can maybe just place a mirror yeah oh not a broken mirror but that looks so cool i love a broken mirror you can have two mirrors maybe and of course you know i can just never go without a rug all right we need to have a rug somewhere in every house every single freaking house needs a rug okay all right we can have this skew fluffy rug that also came with that loft kit and that is called the industrial loft yeah there we go sorry <laughs> i forget the names of the kits because there are just too much of them you know it's too much to remember too much okay so we have a wardrobe we have some mirrors we have two paintings yeah the rest of that over here i'm not gonna put anything because it's a very small space although i can maybe just put a plant in the corner here of course a plant nice okay we have a plant i'm so happy <laughs> and yeah i did this little thingy over here because i thought we could still put something here that might look cool you know like a hanging plant and beneath the hanging plant we can have a potted plant can you believe that i love it downstairs we're gonna be breaking open some walls maybe not too many walls i actually like the idea of this 
this over here. Whoops, I didn't mean to delete the floor. I've seen this in the Sims house before where they did this. I believe it was maybe a Sims 2 house or a Sims 3 house, can't remember, but it's kind of fancy. What is not so fancy is forgetting the freaking bathroom like I always do. So let's quickly create this little square here into our tiny bathroom. Now this house would have been a one sim house but luckily I decided to just extend the bedroom upstairs so that we could at least have two sims living here. Very very nice of me I know. Taking the time to do that. Now because this is a bathroom I'm gonna add a smaller window over here. Maybe two. Painted black of course. Floor tiles. Yeah. Like a good bright bathroom. A sink. Mirror. Some toilet essentials. Some hand essentials. Ooh, and some hand wash. That fits nicely up there. Okay. We can have this awesome bathtub from Seasons. Yeah, I love that. Ooh, black bath. Love it even more. Some towels. I've never built a bathroom this fast in my life. Okay, we got a massive rug here for the living room that's about to come and we need to put some railings on these staircases. Otherwise, our sims will die when they fall down, you know. But unfortunately, they cannot fall to their death. So yeah, you actually don't need railings, but it's just for realism. Okay, we can do something weirdly interesting with the wall over here. I did this. If you go upstairs, it actually kind of looks cool the way it connects with the top walls. I kind of like it, you know, I've never gone so crazy with a build before. So we're gonna need a coffee table so that our sims can have a nice TV on top of it. And when they come and sit down on their lazy asses, they can watch some TV on a small TV. No, screw that. I apologize if my commentary is a little bit boring and soft today. It's just because I am quite focused on this build in general because I've never really gone this far in building such a complex house before. <laughs> Ooh, this is so good and it, it, it fits perfectly onto this wall. You know what? Sims can enjoy their food and stuff in the living room, I feel. Because I don't think I'm really gonna be able to fit a dining table in here anyways. But you know, that's fine because I love the realism of Sims going to the living room to enjoy their food and their drinks and whatever. So we don't need to have dining tables in the sims 4 which is something i really really appreciate in this game okay you guys i think we are finished with our industrial slash eco slash loft slash well modern house okay let's quickly go ahead and take a tour i still don't know if this is a good place for the mailbox but i mean you can move it anytime if you want to okay moving through the front door we have our little living room which I think is actually very nice, very open. Over there's our loft. Over, okay, like that you can basically see the roof that looks terrible, but you can also see the top windows over there. But anyway, let's quickly go ahead and check out our little kitchen. We have a stove top over here, a kettle of course, and a oven. And on this side is the fridge, and over here are some more cabinets. But okay, if you go on this side, we have our little bathroom, the only bathroom in the house of course, because this house is not very big and we're gonna go through the kitchen to get to the staircase over here now we're gonna go up the stairs uppy up and over here we have a plant nice i know it's it's like the best part of this house this plant right over here i really really like that idea over there it's so cool all right over here we have a bed uh, i mean the only bedroom in the house not a bathroom i <laughs> keep wanting to say bathroom instead of bedroom yeah no ensuite of course because this house is already very small now let's go to the outside at the back over here we have some greenery we have some planters you can plant your lovely special greens in there if you want to you can come back here and i don't know do something with these water catchers and over here are some more planters this is a wedding arch but we're gonna uh, pretend it's not. Well, if you want your sims to get married, you just move the planter and then you can just <laughs> marry your sims if you wanna. And over here are some generators. Oh yeah, and on top of the roof, there is some solar panels as well and also a turbine. But okay, you guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the build process with me. <laughs> but okay, because it is my birthday, I am pressurizing you all to like this video as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.